What's up guys, Craig here bringing you another server factory overview. Today we are going to give you a rundown of some new SSD technology from Samsung which will feature in their new never dying data center SSDs. These are the new PM1733 and 1735 series data center SSDs that feature new cutting edge software technologies that mean that they will be industry's highest performing SSDs. These are also the first SSDs from Samsung that will take advantage of the PCIe Gen 4 interface, which has double the bandwidth of PCIe 3. There are three main software innovations that make these SSDs such a big deal. Fail in place technology, virtualization technology, and VNAND machine learning technology. Let's start with fail in place or FIP technology. According to Samsung, this technology marks a new milestone in the 60 year history of storage. It basically means that even if there is an error on one of the NAND chips, the SSD can still maintain high and stable performance, a first for the industry. Normally, if even one of the several hundred NAND chips on an SSD failed, the whole drive would have to be replaced, meaning system downtime and drive replacement costs. With Samsung's FIP software, a faulty chip can be detected and scanned for any damaged data. Any damaged data is then relocated onto working chips and the drive will continue to work as normal. The only downside is that the failed NAND chip won't be of use anymore, leaving you with slightly less capacity, but at least you won't have to replace the whole drive. The second innovation with these new SSDs is Samsung's new SSD virtualization technology, which means that a single SSD can be split into a maximum of 64 smaller virtual SSDs. This could be used to provide virtual drive space for multiple users on one server, which would be amazing for cloud storage providers as they would see massive savings on hardware costs. Samsung also states that this technology actually allows the SSD to perform some of the tasks that would normally be carried out by the CPU, meaning even more efficiency. Finally, Samsung are also using what they call VNAND machine learning, a new technology which detects any variation among circuit patterns using big data analytics. Basically, this software looks and verifies cell characteristics and predicts how the behavior of the cell will develop ensuring superior data reliability. This is important because as SSD speeds increase, it can be challenging to read and verify data through the extremely rapid voltage pulses. Basically, more precise cell control is needed for higher performance, and that's what these SSDs are offering. The PM1733 series will be available with six different models in a 2.5 inch U.2 form factor with capacities of 960 gig, 2 terabyte, 3.8 terabyte, 7.6 terabyte, 15 and 30 terabyte. They are also available in a PCIe card form factor with the same capacities ranging from 2 terabytes to 15 terabytes. The PM1735 series offers a bit more durability than their counterparts, but at the cost of some capacity. The 2.5 inch model comes in the capacities of 800 gigabytes, 1.6 terabytes, 3.2 terabytes, 6.4 terabytes, and 12.8 terabytes, with the PCIe card versions offering the same capacities except for 800 gigabytes, which is only available as a U.2 drive. Samsung has already begun mass production of these next-gen SSDs and they say that these SSDs will be available industry-wide in this quarter. They are also fully compatible with PCIe 3 architectures, meaning these drives can work well even in existing server infrastructure. If you've enjoyed this video and feel like you've learned something, please give us a like and leave a comment down below on what content you want to see from us in the future. See you next time and thank you very much for watching.